Welcome back to X plus Y. Here's another viral math problem that's been dividing the internet. 18 divided by 3 times the quantity 2 plus 4. It looks straightforward, but thousands of people get different answers. Pause and try it yourself. What do you get? Many people look at this and immediately think the answer is 1. Let me walk you through their reasoning. Starting with our expression, first step, handle what's inside the parentheses. 2 plus 4 equals 6. So now we have 18 divided by 3 times 6. And here's the key moment where people diverge. There's something about the way 3 is written right next to the 6. No multiplication sign. Just 3 parentheses 6. It feels like they belong together. This is implied multiplication, and many people believe it should be done first. So if we do 3 times 6 first, we get 18. That leaves us with 18 divided by 18, which equals 1. That's Team 1's answer. It feels right. It looks right. But is it right? Now, let's look at Team 36's argument. And they're just as confident. Here's the fundamental rule. Multiplication and division have equal priority in order of operations. They're at the same level. When you see them together, you process left to right. There's debate about implied multiplication, but the formal convention treats all multiplication the same. Starting from the same place, let me make the multiplication explicit. Now it's clear. We have 18 divided by 3 times 6. Following left to right, the first operation is 18 divided by 3. 18 divided by 3 equals 6. Now we have 6 times 6, which equals 36, a completely different answer. And here's the thing. This exact problem has been tested on different calculators and software, and you get different results depending on how they handle implied multiplication. So we have Team 1 and Team 36. Both convinced they're right. Both have logical reasoning. What's the real answer? Here's the reality. This problem is viral because it exploits an ambiguity in how we write math. According to modern mathematical convention, multiplication and division have equal priority, so you work strictly left to right. That gives us 36, but the way it's written creates a strong visual suggestion that the 3 is attached to the parentheses, making many people think it should be treated as a single term. So while Team 1's answer feels intuitive, the formal mathematical convention says 36. Modern calculators follow this standard. Standardized tests follow this standard. But here's the important lesson. This notation is ambiguous and should be avoided in real mathematics. In any serious context, we'd use parentheses or a fraction bar to make the meaning crystal clear. No mathematician would write it this way precisely because it causes confusion. Were you Team 1 or Team 36? Thanks for watching. This problem has sparked heated debates, just like the famous 6 divided by 2 problem. If you got 1, you're following your intuition. If you got 36, you're following the formal rules. Drop a comment with which team you're on and subscribe for more viral math problems. See you next time!